everyone welcome back to my channel in this video I wanted to share with you a DIY of um, I want I wanted to say I got inspired by the Montessori counting beads but when I finished the product they ended up looking more to the Matthew C counting cubes I think that it's called I don't know if that's the way the material is called um, so let me just go ahead and show you what I came up with and and hopefully you like it and you'll decide to make your own uh, so this is what i came up with i organized them in this bead organizer that i already had laying around my house um they come with all these compartments and they have this little uh little like square pieces that you can fit in between here if you want to make more dividers but I don't need those I took them all out so I can store them like this and they work perfectly with this activities and this material that I made uh, as you can tell here is number one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten um, this one is a little bit higher than the other ones but it doesn't matter because they're very small so as you can tell I use these centimeter cubes um, I the reason why I use this is because I purchased this bucket full of these little cubes they're called they're called centimeters cubes it's a set of 1000 and it comes in 10 different colors they are from learning resources I did not buy them from them or Amazon or anything. I bought them at the thrift store for $4.99. And if you go online, they actually cost between $15 and $30, bucks, depending where you buy them from. Um, definitely, if you don't want to go ahead and spend $20, 20 bucks on this, you can use something else that you already have at home. You can use beads. And for this idea, I'm going to direct you to a video that JDA uploaded last week, I believe. Um, well, to me, it's last week. I don't know when you're watching this video. Um, but she actually uh, created the Montessori uh, counting beads um, using pony beads. So if you want to use beads, you can go ahead and watch her video. She's going to explain to you how she did that. And you can use beads but if you have these little cubes or you have t something similar to these uh, you can even use Legos if you want to and make this activity what I use is hot glue gun and that's it I simply pick the colors that I wanted to use for each number because they have to be the same um, the same color to represent the same number and make 10 for each one so I have 10 units and then have 10, you know, of the quantity not for the number two. I have 10 for number three, number four, and so on, all the way to 10. Um, so I ran out of this color because they only come um, 100 uh, colors, I'm sorry, 100 cubes for each color, as you can tell. It has 1,010 different colors. Uh, and this is what I have left. I still have a lot left to work with, with other activities. And if I even want, I can make more of these. And I just, like I said, I use hot glue gun. I will put literally a teardrop, like right in the middle here. And that drop, I will like just literally grab another little cube and put it here. And I will press them against like that while laying on the table and then I flip it or turn it and press again and then turn it and press again so that it wouldn't um, be like cricket. I did get a couple of them like that, like a little bit. Let me show you, maybe this one. I don't know if you can tell. Let me see if I found another one that didn't come very neat. This one, you can tell <laughs> it's a little bit cricket. It's not very straight. So make sure you, you know, when you glue them in there, you 
go like this and like this to make sure that it's even in all sizes in all the sides um so that's what i came up with of course i use this activity with workbooks because i need to show show proof to the county of the things that i'm teaching my daughter but you can just show this uh do this activity by itself and um you can do math with it you know you can do subtraction addition you can even do multiplications you can do patterns and like i said if you go and visit jda's uh, video of the montessori counting beats she, she shares with you many activities what you can do with those they're exactly the same activities you can do with this material um another thing that i do have with me are these uh, 100 base frames this one i purchased from a public school that was closing up and they were selling a lot of materials. So I went ahead and I bought 10 of them. Literally, it cost me cents. Um, luckily, the cubes are the same size as the little cubes that are marked in this uh, 100 baseboard. So I tell my daughter, this is one, two, three, four, five, see, all the way to 10 and then with how many tens do we need to make 100? Because this is 100. So we put them all together like this. And we continue filling it up. And we say we need 10 tens to make 100. And you can do that with fives. How many fives do we need to make 100? And so on. So here, I use this and this together. Um, so yeah, that's the DIY that I wanted to share with you. I hope that you find it helpful. And if you have any idea or questions or any suggestions that you want to ask me or tell me, you can do so in the comments down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.